I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 14 page 333. Nelson. Now I do have solution of this elsewhere. I will connect it uh, to that question. This is a test problem and has been seen so many times. The question here is given the point A minus 2 1 3 B 4 minus 1 3 determine the coordinates of the point on the x-axis that is equidistance from these two points. So let us say let the point on x-axis be P, right? So let it be P, whose coordinates will be what? x-axis means A0, 0, right? So that is what the coordinates will be. So when we say that the distance is same from A and B, that means the magnitude of AP should be equal to magnitude of PP. So let us find what is A to P, right? So A to P will be square root of A minus A minus of minus 2 square plus 0 minus, that means minus 1 square plus minus 3 square. So that is AP, right? Similarly, we need to find what is BP, right? So BP magnitude is how much? So B to P A minus, so square root of A minus 4 whole square plus uh, minus of that, so 1 square plus minus of that square square, right? So that is what the condition is. Now these two should be equal. So what we are saying is that the magnitude from AP should be equal to that of BP. That is what we need, right? So let's equate these two and solve. So what we do is we'll equate these two. So we have now square root of A square, A plus 2 whole square plus 1 plus 9 equals to A minus 4 whole square plus 1 plus 9 square. Is that okay? Now to solve further, we can take away square root. Square both sides, what I'm trying to say is this. So when you square both sides, you get a plus 2 whole square, right, plus 10 equals to a minus 4 whole square plus 10, well, plus 10 minus 10 cancel. You get a plus 2 whole square equals to a minus 4 whole square right so so you get two two numbers two solutions for this a plus two whole square and a minus four whole square well some of you at this stage can just get rid of squares and say a plus two equals to a minus four and get one of the solutions in that case you might do a mistake there could be two points right there could be two points which are going to give us the solution you understand so since we square it one of them could be negative also do you understand so so we'll solve for because when you do square root then it becomes plus and minus i hope you understand that aspect right so so that is why we could get more than one solution let me show you that part right so what i will do here is do as normal which is we can write this as a plus 2 equals to a minus 4 is it okay a minus 4 and if I do that a plus 2 a minus 4 then what do I get I get 2 equals to minus 4 but that doesn't work out do you see that so there is no solution if you do like that so let us expand this so when you expand this so so we'll expand this okay so when you expand this you get a squared plus 2ab which is 4a plus 4 is equals to a square minus 2ab which is 8a plus 4 square which is 16 right now we can combine these so we'll bring this to the left side so we get 12a equals to 16 minus 4 right and so a equals to 12 over 12 which is equals to 1 so a equals to 1 is our solution correct and therefore our answer is that the point P is 1, 0, 0, right? So that is how you are going to solve this particular question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.